Hey guys, this is lesson 85. Man, this, this equation of a line we're doing is some of, it can be some of the weirdest stuff you've ever seen. And it can, you can, if you don't like think about it, like when I was your age, um, I, I like wrotely did stuff. I never understood exactly what was going on. But I finally figured out what the heck is the deal with all these equations of a line. Ugh, it's, it's just, it makes sense. And it's so much better to look at it by going, okay, what's the use of this stuff? What are we doing with this? What's the point, you know? Anyway, we're gonna go into that today. And we're gonna, we're gonna go more into it. If you do Saxon Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, I've got all kinds of neat stuff in there too, as well as explaining what the whole point is of doing an equation of line, except for just, you know, oh, well, I did that lesson or whatever. So there's a point to all this, and I'll explain that to you. Well, first off, let's solve this equation. How many variables do we have in this equation? The x, right? That's it. Okay, you can, can you solve this equation? Is there a number that plus two equals five? Heck yes, it's three, right? If you didn't know, you would just go, oh, I'm gonna subtract two from both sides and then I'll get x on the left and then five minus two is three. Oh, it's three. Okay, but you knew that already. Okay, now look at this weird thing. Look at that. x plus y is equal to five. That's an equation, right? Because there is an equal sign, right? It's an equation. That's why they call it equation of a line. Okay. Now, how many variables do we have now? Okay, things that could be different. Now, what's the, what's the answer? What's the answer to x and y? And you might say, oh, it's two, and then it's three. Well, wait a minute. Well, somebody else says, no, the answer is four, and the answer is one. Oh, no, the other person goes, no, no, it's five, and it's zero. No, and the fourth person, no, it's, it's negative, um, you know, 9,850, and x is equal to 9,855? The answer is, you're all right. There is no limit to the number of things that could, that could make x plus y equal to 5. It's, in, it's infinite. There's, there's no way you can stop it. There's an infinite number of answers to this. So that's what we do in an equation of a line. An equation of a line is going to look like this. It's going to have an equal sign. That makes it an equation, right? An expression is just a string of numbers or variables. There's no equal sign. That is an equation. Now that what makes it a line is the fact that there are two variables in there. So what you're going to do is, an equation of a line, you're going to plunk in some stuff for, one, for like the x, and then you're going to figure out what that makes y. Then you, you're going to graph those on a graph, like a, on, a, you know, on, a, on a coordinate plane, like a battleship you know, game you ever played that before. Okay, then you're going to connect the dots and you're going to get a line. There you go. That's all there is to it. And I'll show you exactly what this means. That's what it looks like right there. So x plus y is equal to five. Oh man, you know, you could go, well, here, let's just, let's just plug in some numbers, okay? Let's just do it like this. You might have seen this before. Let's just plunk it in here. Well, if x is equal to two, then y is gonna be, and of course, I'm doing this one now. Forget that one right there. If x is equal to two, two plus what is five? Three. Well, how about if x is three? If x is three, then y is equal to five. Okay, what if x is zero? Then y is equal to Five. But what if x is equal to four? Then y is equal to four plus one. And there you, you could just, you know, there you go. Usually when people are graphing lines like this, they just choose three um, pairs. Because if you just two, choose two and you need to connect those, you could have done one of them wrong and it won't show you unless you've got three. In other words, if you have, oh look, I got some numbers, one over here, one over here, and then one over here, like, oh, that doesn't make a line. Okay, I must have done something wrong. Okay, but let's actually plunk these this, these are all ordered pairs. Remember how we did these before where we went, okay, graph, you know, seven, nine. And you would go, okay, this is my X axis. This is my Y axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's right there, whatever. That's all you're doing with these. If you plop in something for X and you get for Y, then you make that your ordered pair. So two and three looks like this. That's the X, and this is the Y. So two over one, two, and then one, two, three, and then there's a point. And over here, three and two, one, two, three over, and then only two up. Doop, there we go. And then zero and five, that means X, you don't go over any at all. You stay there and go one, two, three, four, five, and there you go. You go four and one, okay, so one, two, three, four over and one, and lo and behold, look at there. I'm the worst drawer of lines that ever lived. Okay, so here we go. If you were to draw this with a ruler, it'd look good. And there's your line. You've just graphed the line. Real quickly, 
tell me if you're looking at if, if you own a business or something is this this is this is like the boss comes up and says these are our sales numbers for the last three months is that good news or bad news it's bad news okay it's point down like your sales are going down man that's the use of these things how to you know spin for this or do for that or all kinds of uses for lines so we'll talk more about that as it goes okay graph this line oh here we go now real quickly let me, let me show you what what uh we can we can do with this line all right first off you can go like this and just go you know i'm just going to put in some numbers for x and get see what i get for y all right well let's just do it um if x is and you can put whatever number you want in here. Make it. By the way, you need to buy some graph paper. Don't try to do this like draw these on a piece of paper. Go get mom or dad to buy you some graph paper. Just promise them you'd wash the cats, and um, you know, or do the dishes or something like that. Or anyway, okay. Um, put anything you want in for X. I mean, you could put you know, I don't know, one, two, three. Who cares? You could put zero, five, eighty, six, three, thirty, you know, whatever. So I'm just put chose one, two, and three. Well, you tell me. If y is equal to, I'm just going to try this one here first, right? We'll try this bunch. y is equal to 1 minus 2. What's 1 minus 2? Negative 1. So there's a point right there. You can grab. Let's grab it. There's my x axis. There's my y axis. 1 for x and then negative 1 for y. That means down. It goes like that. Okay? There's one of my points right there. Oops. Right there. Okay. All right. Let's say I put in uh, x. I put in 2 y is equal to 2 minus 2, of course that's 0. So that means 2 over 1, 2, and then right there, there's my 0. So I got two points so far. The reason you do two, 3 is because let's say we made a mistake. If we did the third one and we go, oh look, it's over here, you go, well wait, that ain't, that's not a line. What's going on here? I, I must have done something wrong. Do it again. Okay, let's just check it. So we've graphed these two points already. 1, negative 1, 2, and 0. Let's do y, or x is equal to 3. Well, let's do it. y equals x is 3, 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2, of course, is... one. Okay, there we go. So if x is 3, 1, 2, 3, then y is 1. Doop, there we go. Hey, that proves we're right. So there is our line. Yook. Now, you, I mean, you, let me ask you this. Is that good news for sales or bad news for sales? It's good news. Okay, we'll talk about more about why that happens that way later on. Okay, that's basically what we're going to talk about right at this point right now. We'll go into more of the whys later on. But look on page 268. Go ahead and graph that line. Pick out three points like this. Make yourself a little, you know, little table. And then pick out three values for X. That can be anything you want. If you picked out three different numbers and the person, you know, who's watching this video in, you know, in Pakistan or wherever, uh, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer if you both do it right. So pause it and do it. Okay. You know what? Let's just go crazy. I'm going to pick out 5 for X. I'm going to pick out ones I know you didn't pick. I'm going to pick out 9 for X. And I'm going to pick out negative, oh, negative 3 for X. Isn't that weird enough? Guarantee you didn't pick those out. Okay. Well, let's do it together. If Y is equal to X minus 3. If X is 5. That means Y is equal to 5 minus 3. So that gives me 2. So if x is 5, y is 2. I'm going to plot this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then yoop, there's my 2. Okay, 9, you can probably do this in your head. If, y, if x is 9, y is equal to 9 minus 3, which is 6. So there's my other point. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then what was that, 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yoink. Okay, negative 3. This is a little, little trickier. Y is equal to, X is negative 3, negative 3 minus 3. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. There's my next point. So, negative 3, yoop, yoop, yoop. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's my third point. Ugh, what a disaster. Ah, ah, ah. Close enough. Okay, so, ah, yeah, I got it. See? It works okay. Even though you, I guarantee you picked out three different numbers, your line should look just like that. In fact, I think it should go right through the line over here with three zero right there. That that might have been one of the points you chose. So anyway, okay. More on lines later. 
uh, as it is today, knock that one out. You've got uh, right today. Try to get at least 25 right out of your problem set, okay? See you guys next time.